The last nine months, the Houthis were attacking Israel with 220 cruise missiles and drones. Does a cruise missile need to come out of a huge, like, platform? Or can those be launched from, like, smaller or mobile platforms? Are people saying launch from aircraft? I don't think the Houthis have a f air force, do they? <laughs> Whoever came up with the idea for the Rapid Dragon missile system is mentally ill in the best way possible. It's a pallet of cruise missiles hurled out the back of a C-130 cargo plane that then launch up to nine separate AGM-158 missiles at once, each able to hit a different target up to 1,200 miles away, or completely atomize a single point if you skip the lesson on preventing target overkill. How was it developed? What tactical situation would it be best used in? And what are some of the challenges that this system faces? And why does this idea make me want to all over the place? The idea of weaponizing seemingly innocent old cargo planes has been around since the Vietnam War, when C-130s were used to yeet giant 15,000 pound Blue 82 bombs right out the back. These were used to flatten a section of forest to make it safe for a helicopter to land. The problem was you had to get close as heck to the enemy to drop it. So a lot of the have you ever thought about using more patriotic messages of your own to counter right-wing rhetoric, rhetoric such as for LGBTQ, we the land of the free, sexual identity is a freedom? I, you're not going to believe me. Um, I don't care. I don't really think that patriotism is a big part of the um, is a big part of the rights messaging anymore. Even when he says "Make America Great Again," I don't think that's about America. That's about MAGA. I think they've like replaced like the flag with their version of like the fucking swastika or whatever the fuck. I don't think that. I don't think that right wingers. I don't mean like they're not patriotic and that they don't like my version. I just don't think that they're very bought into like the concepts of like patriotism. I don't think that strikes as much anymore. Then we're shot down in the process. Now to fix that problem, in the 1980s, when it looked like the B-1 bomber might get canceled, they came up with the cruise missile carrier aircraft, which was basically a 747 that you would fly to visit your family in, except they reconfigured it, modified it to fire 50 to 100 AGM-86. 3,000 pound cruise missiles. The aircraft was faster and flew higher, so it was safer from enemy fire. Similar to the Rapid Dragon missiles, they were released from the back of the aircraft from a rotary launcher that ejected them right out the tail. The idea was never executed though because everyone had sobered up by the 1990s. Then, in 1996, the National Air Intelligence Center created a program called Altair, which demonstrated for the first time an air-launched drag chute based missile system could work from a cargo plane. But I think this is where they missed a huge opportunity for a 1988 Con Air sequel about prisoners being transported with a missile in a cargo plane called Altair Con Air Back in the Cage. It'd be another decade in the year 2003 before the concept would be revisited by none other than insane graduate students in their 101 preliminary concept studies at the Air Force Institute of Technology. This is what happens when you give Air Force students too much free time and safe spaces. They dream up apocalyptic weapons. Before we get into that, I want to talk about this video sponsor, MyHeritage the leading global service for family history research and DNA testing. They have over 20 billion historical records and documents, and they can find documents for your relatives automatically. Using advanced AI technology, MyHeritage allows you to repair, colorize, and even animate historical photos. And with tools like instant discoveries and record matches, you can easily find ancestors' historical records and add an entire branch of relatives to your family tree in one click of a button. Let me show you how easy it is to build your family tree. Here, I can add a family member. And when you zoom out, you can see us going back in time to see great grandparents and their relatives going back generations. So if you're intrigued to learn more about your own family, sign up for a 14-day free trial and enjoy all the amazing features MyHeritage has to offer Jesus. using the link below or scanning the QR code. One student, Ari Gerler, who was studying here from the Turkish Air Force, wrote his 100-page thesis paper on the idea. I went ahead and pulled it up. He imagined weaponizing cargo planes, but this time with a pallet box crammed full of cruise missiles. Unlike the 1980s concept, you wouldn't have to do a ton of remodifications that are expensive, costly, and require training. I've put a link in the description if you want to read it. But the thrust of his argument is that since the 1980s, cruise missiles have become more commonplace with greater long-range capabilities. 
During the first few days of a hypothetical war, the Air Force has a major problem to contend with. They have far more targets that they need to destroy than they have fighters and bombers, which requires a lot of separate sorties. But if each cargo plane could drop 45 missiles in five separate pallet boxes from a safe distance, that greatly increases the speed at which an air campaign can be completed. That might make war sound like a numbers game, but in this case it kind of is. However, the idea was quickly forgotten about yet again, because remember, this was back in 2003, and everyone was like, I don't think we need to fire 45 cruise missiles that cost $1.5 million each at a guy with an AK-47. Or do we? No, no, we don't. Fast forward yet another decade, and the idea got dusted off and picked up off the shelf once again in 2015, once the military realized near-peer warfare might be back on the menu. In 2015, this RAND publication resurrected the unholy idea when they advocated improving standoff bombing in a cheap way by using cargo planes yet again. But still, the program had not yet been officially picked up by the United States Air Force, as a weapons program to finally turn from a fever dream into a reality. Airdrops of supplies have been commonplace since World War II, but where the Rapid Dragon system takes a hard left turn Thanks. is that its parachute is rigged in such a way so that the missile cargo in the pallet box is oriented nose down. The way it works is that when each missile is released in sequence, it falls out of a barrel-like chamber or cell. As it does this, the wings unfold along with its tail. Then the engine on the missile is ignited, which generates thrust, so it can maneuver to the designated target. The AGM-158 JASM extended range that it drops is a huge, stealthy, long-range missile that weighs about 2,200 pounds total, with a 1,000-pound armor-piercing warhead on it, and those guys working in logistics thought they weren't going to have to stack bodies like the rest of us. The way I like to explain the Rapid Dragon missile system is that, you know how a burrito is the delivery vehicle for the cheese, meat, beans, right? In this case, the Rapid Dragon is the burrito for the missiles. It took yet another four whole years before the Air Force would pick up the concept for development. In 2019, they officially began work on the Rapid Dragon program. Why'd they name it that? The name comes from an over 1,000-year-old siege weapon from China called the Jilongqi, or the Rapid Dragon Cart. These were basically a combination of giant crossbows and catapults, which after being fired would launch a dozen giant crossbolts into enemy defenses, saturating them with fire. A quote from the Air Force Research Laboratory on the naming convention states, quote, Today, the Rapid Dragon concept is changing the game again, this time as an airborne delivery system for U.S. Air Force weapons. And, like its namesake, these palletized munitions promise to unleash mighty salvos and mass on distant adversaries. It'd be kind of like if China called their new gun the Browning QBZ-191. Rapid Dragon came out of the Air Force's Strategic Development Planning and Experimentation Office. They're like the Mythbusters, but for the Air Force, they go out and experiment on crazy ideas to see if they actually work. The reason they were excited about this specific idea in 2019 is because it's when the U.S. military got concerned with being outnumbered in the Pacific. Currently, there are 300 C-130s being flown by the United States. That number is soon to be... Re okay. Done. With all my shit. Thank you. Okay. Don't care about this. Why does Sarah Palin get a free pass by conservatives? You link this. This video is 15 years old. Why? What? It was just a year ago when all the experts in Washington counted out our nominee because he refused to hedge his commitment to the security of the country he loves. With their usual certitude, they told us that all was lost. There was no hope for this candidate who said that he would rather lose an election than see his country lose a war. But the pollsters, the pollsters and the pundits, they overlooked just one thing when they wrote him off. They overlooked the caliber of the man himself, the determination and resolve and the sheer guts of Senator John McCain. I sent it because of they. I sent it. The point was that she has her own shrillness in her voice. That doesn't make it so you're unelectable. I was just commenting on like a voice thing. Hillary got more votes than Trump, right? I mean, like, it's not. I'm not saying it makes you unelectable. Just an observation.
tend to think that we should seize the institutions of the left and turn them against the left, right? We need we need like a debathification program, uh, but like a dewokeification program in the United States, right? So like, let, let me give you a couple examples. So one of the things I've always been very sympathetic to is this idea that we don't have a real constitutional republic anymore. What we have is an administrative state, right? The administrative state controls everything, right? Uh, so to the point that like when Donald Trump wins, he can't even sometimes get his people in core positions of authority in the administrative state. It's like, well, do we have a constitutional republic? The founding fathers actually created. Wait, what? Hold on. Trump wins. He can't even sometimes get his people in core positions of authority in the administrative state. It's like, well, do we have a con? I don't understand what he means. Fuck this headache. I just ate ibuprofen. Hopefully it goes away soon. Well, if you have an administrative state, doesn't that benefit people in government, like the president who's going to sign officers and tell them to do things? If you have an administrative, or what is he? I know what he might be talking about, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to give him the answers in this past video that's already been recorded. Trump wins. He can't even sometimes get his people in core positions of authority in the administrative state. It's like, well, do we have a constitutional republic? The founding fathers actually created a very powerful chief executive, a very powerful president. But if he can't even fire the, own, the people in his own administration, like, is this really a, a successful republic? What do you mean? Who can he not fire? Who is he referring to? Um, so, so a lot of conservatives have said we should deconstruct the administrative state. We should basically eliminate the administrative state. Uh, and I'm sympathetic to that project, but another option is that we should just seize the administrative state for our own purposes. We should fire all of the people. I mean, I, you know, like random government employees. Um, I mean, can he just ask his, like, if he wants to fire somebody in the justice department, can he just ask his AG to fire them? Isn't that like the whole point? Like, why can he not, has that, has it happened where that hasn't been the case? state for our own purposes we should fire all of the people i mean I, you know like if and I, I think trump is going to run again in 2024 i think he'll probably win again in 2024 uh and, and 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 he'll win by a margin such that he will be the president of the united states uh in in january of 2025 i think that what trump should do like if i was giving him one piece of advice fire every single mid-level bureaucrat every civil servant in the administrative state replace them with our people and when the courts because you will get taken to court and then when the courts stop you, stand before the country like Andrew Jackson did and say the chief justice has made his ruling, now let him enforce it. Because this is, I, I think, a constitutional level crisis. Okay. P.F. Jung said he's down to talk to you about Trump. Um, yeah, do we have each other on Discord? Well, hold on. Before we start, real quick, before I forget, why don't you debate Destiny? We can set up if you're not in contact. Go watch the beginning of the stream. I said I will never debate Destiny, but I will gladly have a conversation with Destiny. And some someone who has his number can set that up. Right, hold on. Before we start, real quick. Uh, yeah, I mean, if he wants to chat, sure. It doesn't have to be a screaming debate or whatever. <sighs>
So what, so, I'm not, I'm skimming. So is Schedule F basically an attempt to make a new classification of federal employee to where every time an administration would swap, you would also swap all these employees as well? That sounds like a fucking nightmare. See, every four years, you're just like, you have thousands of federal employees that are just like every four years just coming and going? Jesus. Why do you reserve time at community centers and swing states for public con conversations or debates with local similar to city hall meetings? Wow. Indefinite suspension. Yeah, well, it doesn't need to be an indefinite. Like, that this, this is like a three day, like a week, maybe, right? An instant per. It's a joke. It's obviously a fucking joke. Oh my. It's probably indefinite because for these types of bands, if you're not partnered, they don't do day bands. It's probably indefinite to you. Appeal would be my guess, but. I got. I've said I was going to kill people that I know in the past. It's just a fucking joke. Chill out. It's like, it, what's so weird to me. How is it possible that somebody who's joking gets banned, but somebody who's not joking doesn't? <laughs> true. That's true, actually. Wait, I thought I thought you could threaten to kill me. Wait, yeah, I thought Twitch decided that that was cool. Twitch was like chill with people threatening to make uh, murder threats about me. The fuck does this happen? What kind of fucking morons are running things over there? Well, I know what I know what kind of morons. It's people that don't like Destiny. That's the reason why. It's got nothing to do with what happened, and it's got everything to do with who it's happening to. It's not principled. There's no logic involved with this. There's no like, okay, well, let's look at the way our rules are set up and see how we can apply this fairly. No, no, no. It's, oh, it's the guy that we don't like? An indefinite suspension. The, the dialogue has got so caught up on where you draw the line that we've gotten away from the fundamental question of who gets to draw the line. And I trust women to draw the line when it's their own. Line. So, so just to be clear, just to be clear, you're saying that you would be okay with a woman well into the third trimester deciding to abort a pregnancy. Look, the, these hypotheticals are usually set up in order to provoke a strong well, no, emotional... No, but so, Frank, in no, fairness, no, oh, right, so it's not hypothetical. There are 6,000 women a year who get abortions in the third That's trimester. right, representing less than 1% of cases. I but know, let, but 6,000 pregnancies. Let's take ourselves in... Yeah. So let's put ourselves in the shoes of a woman in that situation. If it's that late in your pregnancy, that means almost by definition, you've been expecting to carry it to term. We're talking about women who have perhaps chosen a name, women who have purchased a crib, families that then get the most devastating medical news of their lifetime, something about the health or the life of the mother that forces them to make an impossible, unthinkable choice. And the bottom line is, uh, as horrible as that choice is, uh, uh, that woman, that family may seek uh, spiritual guidance, they may speak, seek medical guidance, but it's, that decision's not going to be made any better, medically or morally, because the government is dictating how that decision should be made. He's the one gay man who doesn't hate women. What? Do gay men normally hate women? Never heard that stereotype before. <sighs> Yeah. <laughs> 
In a reality where Trump wins and attempts to enact Project 2025, do you think there's any path to reversal if policies are enacted? Would you consider leaving the U.S. if that was the worst case scenario? Maybe. Um, the, the scary thing is that, one, policies that he enacts might need a ton of things to get over them, meaning you either need a whole new Supreme Court, which isn't going to happen for at least a generation or whatever, like 20 years, maybe, or um, maybe 10 or 15 years. Or you need to do co uh, amendments to the Constitution, which might not be possible because you just want to have the support for it. But then the other issue is that you might get Democrats to come into power. Whoever comes into power next, they might want to take advantage of those new powers. So it's like not a good, yeah, you, it's just fucked. Oh my God, my head. It's okay. That ibuprofen's about to kick in. I can feel it. New Kashiwa Daisuke album. Later. I swear I read that like 80% of third trimester abortions are because there is no certainty the father will be in the picture. Really? That would be shocking to me. Third trimester abortion is, that's really rough. You're like, you got a whole ass baby in there that's kicking and everything, but... I feel like my, my intuition would say that at least half are done for severe medical reasons. That'd be my guess, but what is the reason most women abort third trimester? Abortions at 21 weeks are uncommon. I present 1% of all abortions in the U.S. Claims of abortions occurring moments for birth or after birth are for reasons. Individuals seek abortions later in pregnancy include medical concerns, such as fetal abnormalities or mater uh, maternal life endangerment, as well as barriers to care that cause delays in obtaining an abortion. 14 states currently. Uh, Many factors contribute to delays in obtaining abortion care. Okay, women who obtained abortions at over 20 weeks, raising money for the procedure and related costs, affected 65% of people. Not knowing about the pregnancy, 45%, Jesus. Um, difficulty securing insurance coverage, 41%. Trouble deciding about the abortion is 40%, damn. Not knowing where to go for an abortion is 38%. Difficulty getting to an abortion facility is 27%. Disagreeing about the abortion with the man involved is 20%. Yeah. How do you not know until that late? It's, it's rare, but there are some women that, well, well, keep in mind, third trimester abortions are rare, but um, some women really don't show that much. It's pretty wild. Like, there are some women that don't show much until they're in, like, fucking, like, month seven. It's kind of insane. No, it's not just fat women. You would think so, but it's not just. Oh, I wish I could see this. I'm trying to remember who. There's, like, there are pictures of women that are, of like, average weight, and they'll be, like, six months pregnant. And you'll be like, wait, really? It's just, I don't know why or wh what happens with that, but. Isn't that due to a tilted womb? I don't know. This is a story, but I don't even know what's real or not on the internet.
This comes from kidspot.com.au. This woman is 32 weeks pregnant. I did have a retroverted uterus, which means that my uterus tilts backwards. But again, towards the end of the pregnancy, this does start to tilt forward, and I still didn't pop whatsoever. She was pregnant with her third baby. And once again, I had no baby bump. I'm at 31 weeks, and you probably wouldn't even notice. About their period when they notice its absence by that point some women have really irregular periods and they just don't also women don't keep track of their periods anywhere near as much as you'd think they would i don't know why jesus Response to this excerpt of Loose Change about what happened in Shanksville. You know, that clip is really interesting because it shows how uh, slickly made this film is, how compelling it is at, at asking a series of sort of hanging questions and putting some spooky music behind it and making it sound as if uh, someone's covering up these facts, but a, a, a brave researcher can dig down and, and, uh, and put all the pieces together. In fact, there's answers to all those questions. If you look at the, uh, the sources that were used throughout that clip, they're all things that came up in the first day or two after. I mean, almost no man keeps track of their sperm volition either. I don't even know what the fuck that is. I've never heard of that term my entire life, and I don't know how much it impacts like a man month to month. I just know like almost every woman I've dated, it's just very surprising where they'll be like getting like, not every woman actually, some, their periods weren't as bad, but some women that I've dated or known will just start to get really moody. And I'm like, I don't know why I'm so fucking irritated and swiggy and I'm like, what, I mean, well, what day is it? Like, is it your period soon? I'm like, oh shit, maybe it is. And I'm like, would you, why would you not think of that? Why wouldn't you keep track of that? I, so, I feel like 30 to 50% of women I know like don't have any idea when their period is coming. I don't know why. Or maybe, I, maybe I'm just selecting for a certain type of woman that never monitors her period. I have no idea. It's really weird. <laughs> I, I feel like you'd be very... But I also think that... Um, I think it's kind of weird that women are... Um, women's hormones have a much bigger impact in terms of cyclical impact on their mood. And socially, we just expect women to deal with like crazy hormone shifts, which is also kind of crazy. Like take birth control and you'll be fine. And like, it's whatever, if it affects you. Um, yeah, it's like, a, it's an emotional pressure that guys generally don't have to deal with. We just kind of expect women to do it. It's kind of pretty wacky. The attacks in some cases. Doesn't birth control mess with your cycle? It shouldn't mess with your cycle. It can. If it does, you should probably reconsider and get a different type of birth control pill. And the biggest mistake women make with birth control is that um, they'll try one and it doesn't work well, and they'll either never try another one or they'll just keep trying it. They'll say, fuck it, I'm just gonna spot every single month and have irregular periods every single month because fuck it, you know? <laughs> Do you think suppressing periods is good or bad? Probably good. I don't think there's any negative impact on it, ever. Um, I think there's a lot of women that feel weird not having periods, but I don't think there's ever been any research or data that has come out that has said that um, it's a it's it's you need to have periods. But women just feel weird, so they <laughs> so they opt for it. Yeah. Why do some women I know take it to reduce their cycle? Then I don't know what you mean by reduce their cycle. Um, that you you might take it to regulate your cycle. Some types of birth control do actually prevent normal periods from happening. I think it's true of most IUDs. I don't even think, I don't think the Moderna, is it Moderna Maneuver? Um, no, I don't think that's true. Um, what's the name of the... No, 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 no IUD should stop your period completely. 
Is it true that doctors have a weird bias against women? Um, in some respects, yeah, I think that's pretty empirically shown that they don't take women's pain as seriously. Um, yeah, or complaints as seriously. The moodiness often happens a week or so before the period. So even if you know when the period is coming up, the moodiness can you will show. That's why it's PMS, is premenstrual syndrome. It's not MS. It's not, it's not DMS, during it's premenstrual syndrome, yeah. My girlfriend has an IUD and, all, and doesn't get a period. Then she's either super malnutritioned, or I guess she's lucky, or she has ovarian cancer, or... <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to say. My GF is on birth control. Sometimes she will skip a period by continuing to take the pill on her intended period day. We do this often when it's inconvenient because of travel. Uh, if you want, you can, if you have birth control, um, I think it's usually, in, it's 28 days is for a birth control for a woman's cycle. My head is going to explode. Um, I don't remember how many pills are sugar pills. It's like three to five pills will be sugar pills. It should be listed. But if you... Um, uh, if you skip the sugar pills and you just keep taking the next pack, you can just never have a period. But most women are really uncomfortable doing this. Oh. Also, if you stop, um, if you weigh under a certain amount, you can just take three birth control periods as well if you want to have like a plan B instead of actually buying a plan B. As long as you're using the regular hormone birth control pills, you're not on the low hormone ones. <laughs> I'm mind sapping my headache into one of you. One of you fuckers is going to get this headache, okay? <sighs> <sighs> it's usually seven pills of the no hormone sugar pills. Oh, there are seven of them? Okay, yeah. Oh my God, what if it's the Havana syndrome? Yeah. You should take two ibuprofen at a time. Is each pill 400 milligrams? I think these are 200 milligrams, so I took two. IUD and the pill can stop periods for certain people. The pill should never, I don't believe, stop periods. I, an IUD, I think, if you get the hormonal one, I think it can, but I, I don't think it's like intended. Unless there's, maybe there are some types of IUD hormone pills um, or IUD, hormonal IUDs that do, but I, in general, I don't think it's like an intended effect. It might, it might be a side effect for some people, but. What do you think about making videos on some topics like LonerBox does? You already have the notes here. Yeah, we did one for one for the immunity thing. We're, we'll do it for this Trump one. Okay. 20% of people that get the Marina, mir the hormone uh, IUD, stop getting periods. There you go. Take another ibuprofen, 200 milligrams of low dose. I took two. I'm pretty sure it's 400 altogether.
What are we doing? We're just sitting here. Oh. Together. In fact, there's answers to all those questions. If you look at the, uh, the sources that were used throughout that clip, they're all things that came up in the first day or two after the attacks. In some cases, somebody standing across a field and saying, I don't see a plane. Well, when a plane strikes the ground at uh, over 500 miles an hour flying almost straight down, there typically isn't much visible above ground. They also um, quote the coroner in the Shanksville area. Um, we talked to the coroner. He had the horrific job of collecting the body parts and, and, cat and cataloging and um, um, performing all the necessary tests. Those bodies were identified. The, uh, the plane wreckage in the pieces, the tiny pieces that it was in after it, it hit the ground was, uh, was, you know, collected from the hole, cataloged, the, um, and the black box was recovered. And we know what went on because of the, uh, the records of the voice cockpit recorder. And in this case, quite a few phone calls from the, um, uh, from the aircraft itself to various people on the ground. So we know a lot of what happened in Flight 93. The film is alleging that no plane crashed there at all. Uh, the people were sent off somewhere to... Loose change was like the very first meme. Final year med student here. You're confusing different pills. The combined oral contraceptive pill doesn't normally stop periods because it has, because it has the seven-day hormone-free interval. The progesterone does typically stop periods altogether as far as I remember. The Marina IUS, not IUD, does come and stop periods because it has an active hormonal component. Uh, okay, the progesterone pill should be, that's like the, the singular, the low hormone, the non-estrogen-containing pill, should not stop periods altogether. That's, I don't believe that's true. Um, the, um, the Marina IUS, I've never heard of it referred to an IUS, maybe they call it instead of an IUD, does commonly stop periods because it has an active hormone component. It does not commonly stop periods. That's not true. Unless you want to link something. Low Levo norgestrel releasing intra blah blah blah. It's a small flexible hormone releasing interuterine device I can prevent. Oh, this is an IUD. But it because of this thing inside of it, it's an IUS. Are you wait, what did you see where? Hold on. I can't tell I'm getting trolled. Why, I, why, I don't know why I was linked this. I would link this. Common forms tend to try not to mess with the woman's hormones and simply block those related to ovulation. The less impact it has on anything else, the better, because there will be less side effects. Hold on. The, the birth control pills work through, generally through hormones. There are some forms of contraception that women can have that aren't hormone related. So for instance, if you get a copper IUD, that's not hormone related. But no, any type of pill you're taking, whether it's estrogen or progesterone or whatever, is all, is, is all messing with your hormones in order to induce your body to do different things to not get pregnant.
First of all, I think that Biden is doing a, dis a bigger disservice to America, representative democracy and our way of life than Trump ever can by what he's doing right now and like throwing this race so hard and throwing the whole ticket so hard. He is about to send us into a world where Trump, ha where Trump has absolute power. Like, like why, I don't understand why people that dick suck Trump so fucking hard can't just own it. Like, just like say it. Just say you love Trump. You wanted to win. And then we can just have a conversation from there. Like, Donald Trump could walk into a room with Biden, take out an AK-47 and like pump him full, you know, dump the whole mag into his chest. And I think I feel like people like Kyle would be on shows saying like Biden is ruining America because he didn't show up with a thick enough bulletproof vest. Like, it, like it's like wh what are we talking about right now? Just just if you want to support Trump to say you support Trump, like the Supreme Court, he's going to have the Supreme Court, the Senate, the House, and he's going to be the goddamn president. And he might just start. God, he could do so many things to legally keep staying. He could do so many things to white people. He really could. You know, what if he what if he did this? And I'm just off the top of my head. What if he sets up some bullshit tribunal in Congress, his Congress? My girlfriend is on Slind, a progestin only contraceptive, and it stops her periods altogether. It was confirmed to be normal and safe by her gyno. I mean, it happens. It's not bad necessarily if it happens, but it, I don't. But I that's a minority. It won't. The low hormone pills won't. Um, it's not like guaranteed and it's not even like the, it's not even over half, it is, it, but it can happen. It's just not, you don't take it just to stop your periods. And they have a, a, a trial and they determined that that last election was stolen, that it was stolen and that he's entitled to four more years because technically he's yeah. won three elections and they stamp it and it goes to the Supreme Court and they stamp it. And Trump says, here we fucking go. The rest, it, you know what? And the end of the end of that four years. <laughs> Are you, do you, what do you want? Some more Trump? And everyone well, says, yes, he's sir, gonna, yes, sir. He's going to step aside. Like, I hope I so. Gonna, God, I hope so. He reached the final boss, the Elden Beast of the Democratic Party apparatus, Obama, leaked to the press today, <laughs> that he privately is pushing for Biden to drop out. And so oh, I would be sure. Uh, uh, can Schumer I add to that? Well, that, right? makes, that makes the list this. Obama, Schiff, Pelosi, and Schumer are calling for him to step down. And Raskin. There's, and Raskin. Okay, though. and Raskin. I'm sorry, I didn't another, know that one. Yeah. That, that's like all the heads in the Yeah, in but the did party. you hear Biden big dicked it? And he's like, I don't, I don't even yeah, know who you. You, you people are. <laughs> that sounds like Trump. Trump. Drink, boy. I never met care? that guy. Well, it's pretty fascinating palace intrigue because, like, the, the friendship that he has with Obama is not, it's not really a friendship. Like, um, he, you know, Obama mm -hmm. famously, Ooh. like, uh, sort of convinced him to not get in the race in 2016. And Obama oh, sort of like had up. a... What's That's up? in my notes. The, that, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. that is why that, yeah. he won't leave. That is what he won't leave. It's over here written. Uh, that is why Biden is not going to drop out, in my opinion, because the last time he did, he listened to Barack Obama, he he didn't he didn't uh, run um, because his son was dead. Twenty sixteen, Hillary runs, she loses, Trump takes over, we get a, the Trump presidency, and I'm sure. We Okay, caretaker, you're perma banned if I look this up and it's less than 50%, because now you're wasting my time. I don't understand. The side effect of amenorrhea, absent periods, is just more common in the progesterone only pill. Okay. Progesterone only pill, um, <clears throat> side effects, no period. Bleeding changes are the most common side effect. Bleeding may be unpredictable. You may have short cycles of bleeding or spotting. Less commonly, you may have heavy bleeding or no bleeding at all. You can link one too. If you can find something, go for it. Find something or you're getting permabanned and I'll unban you in 2025, maybe. You get a period on the mini pill. Yes, you still get your period on the mini pill. Your period may be irregular when you start taking the mini pill. That is normal. So you get the health provider. Okay, you're gone.
we can all imagine how, regardless of how we feel about it, Biden feels so much worse about it and everything that happened during. He hates Trump way more than any of us. He has yeah. to. He knows. He knows him. So yeah, but, but, I, I mean, think now just... he's looking at Obama and he's like, if he's cogent, he, he might start telling that story about his legs in the pool in the water. Dude, Biden, no. Biden is is absolutely he's not saying yes. going to drop out. Like yeah. Biden himself hasn't been making decisions for. Oh, we got to start putting some bets on this then, because I think he's staying. I know a guy, uh, a no. robot in our uh, in our um, uh, Discord. He's got a thousand dollars that Biden will be the nominee. It only pays back five hundred. A thousand going five hundred. He made it that weeks ago, and I'm sure yeah, he's, he's going to lose right now. now. He's, he's going to lose that sure. money. I think so. Yeah, no, it's just totally, it's totally untenable for him to stay in the race now. Like, it's obvious the Democratic leadership behind the scenes were trying to privately nudge him. He wasn't budging. And now they're all leaking to the press. They're going to publicly. And it's just, it's impossible for him to, like, the ads write themselves. Right now, Trump, the Trump campaign and all the Trump support, uh, supporting super PACs or whatever, they're all crafting ads saying he's lost the faith of his own Congress and his own, his own party. Oh, I thought you were going to say, yeah. Trump took a bullet. This is, this is him right now. Well, they're going to have got the clue. He's somewhere <laughs> hiding out in Delaware. <laughs> and then in the background, you're like, <laughs> But they, they, you know, the, the main bosses of the Democratic Party have, you know, have they forced the yeah, issue. They, they realized they couldn't effectively hide his condition anymore. And now it's just beyond pale. And so they need him to step down. Like all of these people now who are calling for him to step down have known he's been a senile old man for years, not pulling any levers, just waking up and eating ice cream and letting the people well, around him make decisions. Oh, I got another thought. I got another thought. I bet he'd intended to, to pardon his son. And that is so important to the wife and, is, and, and so important to him mm -hmm. that they can't. I bet that's part of it. <laughs> like, it's just like, yeah, I go. I bet that's part of it. I don't think he's going anywhere. And Zach, Zach, what do you want to bet? $10? I'll do $10. We'll give you $5. Whatever you want. Like, we'll do that. Bet. I say Biden stays in this race. He's running through. We'll just give you the money. That's fine with you. 10 is fine. Deal. Yeah, yeah Biden stays. So he's a nominee. Why would he you leave? think he Why is? Would Jill give it up? Yeah. I mean, uh, what does he care? If they're going to win, it'll be by stealing and cheating anyway. So, what would it matter if? What would it matter if <laughs> people are going to vote for him or not? They flew a bunch of illegals into all the towns that were on the. That they were at risk of losing so they could harvest their ballots and vote like for them. Like, 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 dawn. Harvest round dawn. Wait, he's memeing, right? I can't tell. Names. They just get the ballot what and write names? the new illegal on there. There's your name. Here's some goofy signature. Count it up, boys. I don't know how you do it on the stage, but you, you, can't, you can't just, you don't just mail you a ballot. Like, you have to be registered to vote, and you can't register to vote if you're There's no data to support. They've done multiple audits in multiple swing states. Yeah, yeah, nobody, say it's election history. Ever, guys shooting at the president from ever, the top of a building 100 feet away. Nobody has ever established any kind of, like, <laughs> outcome determinative voter fraud. It's never happened. Not a single court. You don't believe in voter fraud? You don't think there was voter it fraud? Has. That's not what he said. I said, I have an example of Voter fraud. Yes. You can find individual examples, sure, but when we're talking about, like, wait a minute. No, yeah, I think we're on the same. It happened in North Carolina. A Republican did it actually and oh, they, they right. messed with all the mail-in vote it's not uh up to debate like his son ratted him out yeah. um he got charged, he got, he got charged yeah, but he was yeah. too influential and they dropped the case so he got away with it and he's running now and he's gonna win but he did not basically they didn't let him serve his term because beyond any shadow of a doubt he messed with the mail-in voter votes crazy you can you can find individual instances of voter fraud that's not that's nobody can test that the, the, oh when you said is, individual instances such i thought you were referring to like one person who voted twice no, 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 I mean, I like hundreds of thousands of votes that were i think the they i forget the mechanics of it but i think they removed the votes that they didn't like you know, that's, so, so, you know that, yeah, that's less common that than, like, than somebody, you know, oftentimes, like in Florida, for example, a lot of people voted when they didn't realize they couldn't vote because the law had changed and there was, um, there was like some law that went into effect having to do with convicted felons. And so there was some mix up there. But, but like, mm -hmm. if, you can, if you do a statewide audit in a state like Georgia and you find like seven instances of voter fraud, what are we talking about? Yeah. Like, it's obviously right. not right. I agree. I, 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 I agree. Right. They did a recount. They did, an, they did three recounts in Georgia. Yeah. And one, and one yeah. of the recounts was every single A recount is not an audit to this point. Yeah. Just kind of recount is just not actually He lost it, though. Trump fucking lost, man. Yeah. I just want to know if you guys think that 2020 election was real. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Everybody knows it was real. No, I said it was real. Just so you know, um, the reason why you say outcome determinative voter fraud is because conservatives will weasel sometimes say, actually, voter fraud was discovered in, you know, 45 different cases. But like, it'll be where like, um, like somebody didn't register in a state or somebody actually tried to commit voter fraud, but it's like one person. It's, it'll always be like, I mean, you've got what? How many hundreds of millions of people voting in the United States? You're not going to have any election where there's absolutely nothing happening ever, right? There's the standard is, it's like when BLM are like, there should be no cops ever being bad, ever. And it's like, there's always going to be some kind of thing going on. Um, but outcome determinative, because it wouldn't influence any actual election. Like, there's no election that was so heavily voter frauded that it's like changing whole states or districts even or anything. A million votes for that guy? What is, wait, okay. What is your actual evidence that it's not real? Not being a huge retard is my evidence. Are you fucking <laughs> no, 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 no. kidding me? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Well, I object, there's I object, no cheating at all. This is all legit. Retard. All these millions of people are totally just obeying the law. Then the next thing they go back to stealing bikes. Your personal feelings don't matter to me. I'm asking you, what is your actual evidence that there was massive voter fraud? Actual not evidence. being a huge retard. That's my evidence. So you have not. What are you going to do? Oh, hey, FBI, can I get some of that evidence that you guys stole the election? Okay, so if Joe Biden stays the nominee and he loses in November and then he goes to court in all seven swing states and he fails to establish fraud in every single case that he does, which are dozens of court cases, they all get thrown out. And let's say he asks Kamala Harris to accept false slates of electors and she does. And she says, you know what? I'm going to certify these. Are you with that? Well, that's illegal now. <laughs> it is the exact wait, same wait, wait, are you talking about fake electors now? I'm talking about just straight ballot fraud. These are all interlinked. He made different cases in different states alleging different kinds of fraud. He never established fraud in a single case. So, like, I, for you to just say, like, any of them, literally. I'm not even, I don't want to do it. I don't want to go through every case because it'd be weeks of time. But I'm pretty sure, I don't think they alleged fraud
list of I can't. Oh god, I don't want to go down this rabbit hole. List of all Trump campaign election cases. Oh, these are verse Trump. Wait, where the fuck is the list of all the Trump cases? Am I crazy? Hello? this it Oh, so here there was claims of fraud. Was this a Trump case? Or were they finding people to bring... Wouldn't Trump's campaign have a cause of action for all these cases? Remember the line, not a single case was brought forward by Trump? Oh, maybe they found other people in all the states to do it then. Maybe that might have been it, yeah. Because it would have been, because otherwise it'd be Trump campaign v whatever, right? Maybe, yeah. There were over 60 cases, and none of them came back and told him you have demonstrated. Number one, many of them were uh, uh, dismissed on standing, which means he couldn't even establish oh. harm. He couldn't even establish oh. that a party was harmed. Oh, that's crazy. The court said he didn't do anything wrong? Oh, man. I totally believe it. They were his own judges in many cases. People he yes. put on there. Yes, yeah, yeah, his yeah. own Supreme Court even. I mean, like, what is your actual evidence that there was widespread voter fraud? Just like having my eyes open and looking at like how voting is done. It's just a buy, like, it's buy. Just, it's just buy. mailing ballots around, okay. and these are not just total bullshit. Like, okay, okay. man, what do you? Well, how much? How much more looking into it do you want people to do? None. <laughs> <laughs> Please look at my super chat. Let's say that a conservative goes and says, "Yes, Trump tried to coup the government, and I do want a dictator." And he argues that since the SCOTUS said the coup attempt was legal, this means the system is working as intended. Oh, and you just disagree. You say, "I don't want a coup government." If you, if, you, if, you, if you pointed to a bunch of people looking into something and they came back with evidence, but that didn't happen. And now you're just saying, like, well, I have, I have a brain, and so obviously I know that it happened. Yeah, it's, it's such a difficult obviously position right now. Sending ballots like, through the mail is obviously bullshit. I feel like, like I've been this spot need? so many times. Hold on a second. How about one audit? One audit. One audit. They, they did audits. They did vote audits. They did recounts. It, a recount is more extensive than an audit. An audit is no. when you get like 10,000 votes or whatever, and then you, no. you extrapolate from that. A recount is, no, a, a, a recount a recount is, not, an is not an audit. Yeah. A recount is, I remember this news cycle being huge. Yeah. Trump, yeah. Recounting is just recounting me. all the same ballots. What, was it New Mexico? Where did I mean, we don't like, cyber to electorship, whatever they were, cyber ninjas to look into it. It's obvious. It's obvious that the machines are bogus. There's none of its track. You wouldn't trust a bank with the kind of bullshit Dominion hardware that they're using. It's obviously bullshit. They audited it. They audited it. Dominion. Dominion. There it is. God, Hutch, I wish I was on this show. Every time I'm on, they'll never talk politics. This would be the perfect time. Oh, you want to talk about the Dominion stuff? <laughs> well, <laughs> aren't we in luck? I got a whole bunch of quotes from a uh, lawsuit about it. Obviously into, stupid. There was the whole thing about the bamboo ballots. They found that wasn't true. There was the whole thing about the corrupt machines. That wasn't true. This now, was pr the, team that that nothing wrong, the team that Trump hired came back and said Trump was wrong. It netted, it netted Biden more votes. He got, ended up with more votes in Arizona after the audit. 
So it, like, you're talking, if, you're, if you're going to allege, like, I don't know, I think it's kind of serious to, to cast doubt on elections to the extent that millions of Americans like literally lose faith in the democratic process. That's a really bad road to go down for mm -hmm. obvious reasons. And you just need more than just like, oh, I have common sense. Like, Didn't you, just, just to be fair, like you said Trump was like a Russian stooge for like years and that the 2016 one wasn't legitimate. Wait a second. I never said that uh, votes were altered in 2016. I made a video that I got so much shit for the next mm. day and told my audience, stop saying Trump is not your president. He got elected. This is reality and we should learn from this moment and move on. I never okay, said but that, you, that. You're saying that casting doubt is dangerous and that's what you did for a long time, right? By saying that it was Russia. Not in the electoral I, I process, cast, just, in the, just in the morals and the, and, the, and the fact that he, Trump Putin might have on him. Come on, let's be fair. Let, 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 I, it's not even remotely the same, right? Like, we think there was Russian collusion. So we appoint a special counsel, so we investigate. Nothing happened. And then it's it. We drop it. We move on. Hillary didn't say Trump can't be president until Mueller finishes investigating. We didn't say we don't trust the special counsel. Actually, the special counsel lied. He's not he's not on our team. We need another a special special counsel. Right. We investigated. Nothing happened. We lied. Or not. We lied. We uh, <clears throat> oh, well, actually, we did lie. We're still trying. The special special counsel is working in the background. No, I, never, I never and we all know Trump like counting votes. What happened in 2016 is Trump got up there. Like, let me just ask you, if Hillary Clinton in 2016 would have gotten up there and said, hey, Iran, can you look for uh, Trump's emails? And I'm sure the press will reward you mightily. And then yeah, I'm cool with that. Yeah, yeah, I'm cool with that. That's cool. I'm saying, you, you, guys, you guys would have been like, okay, this is fucking bullshit. But that's different. No, no, like, I like that. No, if, if, it, if it went the other way, if, uh, if, if Joe Biden was like, uh, hey, Venezuela, I know y'all have a team, so they know. You find any of those uh, Trump PP tapes? Are they right about there being no audits? Audits and our audits and recounts vastly different? Uh, an audit and a recount is different. I think a recount is just recounting the ballots. Audit might involve more like signature matching or something. It, it doesn't, it really doesn't matter what you say. There's always like, there's always a, the next thing, right? Like they wanted the recounts, recounts didn't work. Then they wanted to audit. And then I think some places did audit, but then they said the audits aren't done good enough because the signatures are always, there. it's, the reality is, is they like Trump, all their friends like Trump. So there's no way that Trump lost the election and that will be affected, right? That outcome will be affected in any way possible. So every type of investigation, every type of claim, nothing matters until Trump is the winner. Otherwise it's all a lie. And it's just like, yeah. Mind if he did that, they would absolutely. I don't care what they shit, think. Which is why he left these lies in 2016. I want the truth. I want, and if it comes from Russia or Iran or China, if they got some truth to share, who are we to say, shut up, China? Don't talk bad about Joe Biden. Like, no, tell me, what, you, what happened? What, what's you guys think those like, dominion machines are good lead? with no audits? Every, Look, every, no, every, no, party's no that, every party's voters that lose elections, every single time they say the fucking voting machines were fucked up. <laughs> every single, it happens literally every single time. 2000, 2004, 2000. That I will annihilate. Where is Hutch? You should never, this is why my rhetoric has become so unhinged, okay? You should never grant that, okay? Um, it was Bush v. Gore, right? I think Gore challenged the uh, Florida election, all right, based on stuff relating to the machines. However, the reason why was because, um, I'm trying to remember, that election was insanely close. And whether or not some votes were being counted or not, because there's a stupid fucking thing. Back in the day, it was the big meme, the hanging chads, was what the machines weren't punching fully enough, like some things, and it might be that there are like a few ballots that like maybe this doesn't actually, uh, it's not being counted in a Christian election. That was a very, very close thing. But they went to the Supreme Court, they challenged it, um, they lost, and then they're done. That's it. Not even remotely comparable. Not even remotely comp comparable to uh, Trump's behavior. Um, what was the difference in votes? This is a really close election. Oof, 5-4 decision. On November 8th, 2000, the Florida Division of Elections reported that Bush won uh, with 48.8% of the votes in Florida, a margin of victory of 1,784 votes. Less than 0.5% of the votes cast, so a statutorily mandated automatic machine recount occurred. On November 10th, with the machine recount apparently finished in all but one county, Bush's margin of victory had decreased to 327 votes. But yeah, it was a super close election. They pushed for a recount. Eventually, something went to um, the Supreme Court, or I think they wanted to do one more recount or something, and then the Supreme Court ruled, I think, against them. And then, But that was it. 
It's not even remotely the same as Donald Trump. Um, it, it, it's the same thing. Why, why do we use like digital machines? Yeah, why don't we just use like a uh, like paper, like paper. like most countries? The machines create a paper ballot. See, like all of this is just like people not knowing, like how our legal processes work, how our how our government works, how the voting system works. It's just like, I think or like or like audits. Don't we have 150 system. million pieces of paper to count? Oh, that man, machine, we were if only we were the most powerful country to ever exist. I mean, we could handle we can't that. count? How can we recount then? I mean, based on a YouTube video I saw, and it, it I should would be, be paper. fine with them getting rid of voting machines, but it would take a lot longer to count. And the last time we oh. had an election, people flipped out because they were still counting votes, you know, three days later. Yeah, Donald Trump simultaneously telling some states to stop counting and then telling other states to continue counting. Like, the whole thing was absurd. You know that went. absurd. So how many I mean, of the votes were bogus? bogus? Hmm. How many of the votes in the last election were bad? 1%, 2%, uh, uh, how no, many? No, bro. It, like, 0.000001% is what they There's that being retarded again. All the votes were good? Are you insane? What? Is your actual evidence beyond use your brain? Have you ever voted? You just go there, say whatever you want, and then go in there. Yeah, yeah, here you go. There's my vote. They give you, you a vote. the you dumbest people you'll votes. ever meet. So you have no evidence, <laughs> to be clear. I see my neighbor there every time. <laughs> There's <laughs> the no evidence any of this You actually people have people to people prove a chain <laughs> of like nice. provenance to, to do anything else except vote. To do anything all right, else. All right, all right. We've been, we've been arguing about whether the election was stolen or not for a while now. And I would you be able to the theory that the Supreme Court is really the branch of government with the most power? No, I think we've got our, our checks and balances and everything are pretty hardcore in the US. I don't know if you could ever say that one branch is like the most powerful. I think we can all agree. Yeah. And, and I've got right. bits and pieces of it from my end. I'll like, it was so funny. Like Hutch was about to launch into something. And I'm like, oh, I'm interested in what he has to say here. And he's like, and the thing is, good shit. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I want to talk about this election. I'll kick it off. But I think you're counting chickens before you're at me. I'm glad you said that. I want to take a quick vote before we like go any further. Who thinks Trump has it in the bag and it's 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 game over? No, no chance. Just me? Oh, wrong. I need a list. I, I, I need a less confident option. Like, if you said, who thinks Trump is more likely to win? I might raise Invincible. my hand. Invincible. Okay. Yeah, Invincible. Invincible. All right, so let me just lay the case out really quickly. His base is incredibly galvanized right now. They are pumped. The, I wasn't joking. They, it's, the RNC, everybody's like, the hand of God came down and changed the future for you. Don't take it for granted. And they're saying, and they're wearing bandages on their fucking ears, okay? The right is going to vote. The left's vote is an anti-Trump vote, not a pro-Biden vote. And all Biden has done for months is diminish at that and chip away at that. And if this is all taking place within the bubble of the, this, this inflation that my generation has never experienced before, that we didn't know could happen. You're watching the money, your dollar bills are literally like turning to powder in your hands when you're paying for $8 bacon. It's crazy. They make fun of Trump for talking about expensive bacon. He, he, he's like, I, I can't even afford it anymore. No more. I the Supreme Court is absolutely the most powerful. Conservatives cannot challenge anything and have the Supreme Court vote in their favor. Dem challenges, we deny it. I mean, like, you could say that about literally everything, right? Like, if, if you had uh, enough liberals in Congress uh, and, and a liberal president, you could impeach members of the Supreme Court. You could change the size of the Supreme Court. You could pass amendments to, to fundamentally change the Supreme Court. I mean, you can do—what do you mean? Like, you can— what, a, a, Every branch of government has, like, the ability to do some pretty wacky shit. Like, every branch—yeah, like— I told him, no more bacon! And they're like, <laughs> Trump rambles about, about bacon during uh -huh. unhinged remarks in, in Iowa. I, I can't imagine a thing. First of all, that my generation at that and chip away at that. And if this is all taking place within the bubble of the hot, this, this inflation that my generation has never experienced before, that we didn't know could happen. You're watching the money, your dollar bills are literally like turning to powder in your hands when you're paying for $8 bacon. It's crazy. They make fun of Trump for talking about expensive bacon. He, he was like, I, I can't even afford it anymore. No more, I told him, no more bacon. And they're like, <laughs> Trump rambles about, about bacon during uh -huh. unhinged remarks in, in Iowa. I, I can't imagine a sin. First of all, my opinion is that Joe Biden is going to stay in the race. He's going to be the nominee. Um, so I'm operating under that. The fact that y'all aren't, I guess. Uh, then does... your prediction might be in trouble because Joe Biden is the most popular president in American history. Yeah. Ah, according to Joe, Joe Biden. 600 million people. And his lawyer. Yeah, yeah, he, got, he turned out more black people than Obama either time. If, yeah. You know. Not this time. Trump is going to have he's going to Trump is going to have record numbers with minorities, with black voters, with brown voters, with especially from the uh, from the Muslim community that don't like quote unquote genocide Joe. And even if those people don't come out, hold their nose and vote Trump, they're certainly not going to come out and uh, and and have a pro Biden vote because that guy's allowing facilitating the genocide of their people as far as their perspective goes. So you can't get them to even think about voting for this guy. And I think that that's going. To it would be wild. If Muslims were retarded enough to, they, I don't think so. No shot. Are Muslims voting? They might not vote for Biden, but they're not voting for Joe. Well, either he really doesn't understand the Muslim community in the United States, or I don't understand the Muslim community in the United States, and they're actually just fucking retarded. <laughs> because all you have to say to the Muslim community of the U.S. is is that Trump moved the embassy to fucking Jerusalem. That's like unhinged it's like the most unhinged thing a president has done in regards to israel in the past like 30 years it's, it's like unhinged to go far and wide 
I, I don't think that well, Trump's going to win New York. Like some people are saying that he's going to contest. How many York. understand the weight of that, though? Muslim. Uh, I mean, Arabs do. I, I, I don't know how plugged in Muslims in the United States are to Middle Eastern politics. I truly have no fucking idea. I really don't know. So, I, I, yeah, who knows? Stuff like that. I think he's going to win New Hampshire, though. I think it's going to be a shit storm. I think it's going to be well, 310 to 320 electoral votes for Trump. Ten dollar, ten dollar bet on New Hampshire. It goes blue. If Muslims did vote for Trump, it wouldn't be because they're mobilized by the genocide Joe stuff. Well, that might help a little bit. It would just be because they tend to align more on conservative social values. Would be my guess. Can you explain why that's a big deal? Um, um, <clears throat> In 67, when Israel went to war and took territory from the surrounding Arab states, part of the territory that it took was the West Bank, the whole chunk of land west of the River Jordan. And as part of that, uh, East Jerusalem was conquered. So there, Jerusalem has kind of been split in two for a while of West Jerusalem held by Israel, East Jerusalem held by Jordan. And then once Israel conquered the whole West Bank, they got East Jerusalem. Um, I don't remember when. Was it immediately? No, it, it was... When did Israel, Israel formally announced the annexation of East Jerusalem as not occupied territory anymore, but they incorporated it into, uh, into like actually Israel. Like they don't think it's contested. They don't think it's occupied or contested anymore. It's just part of Israel proper. I want to say this was around 2004, but am I making this up? That's when they started building the wall. Second Intifada. 2005 was disengagement from Gaza. Would it have been after that? Let me check actually. Was it right away? Israel announces... Formal annexation of East Jerusalem. Let's check. Just kidding. 1980. So a long time ago. Okay. Yes. Okay. I believe it. So no, Okay. So way back in 1980. However, even though Jerusalem was now unified way back in 1980, and it's seen as one coherent city now from Israel's eyes, I believe that every embassy was still located in Tel Aviv. Uh, the United States, and then like two other states, I think like Kuwait, because they'll do everything we do, and then so I think one other country. We moved our embassy to Jerusalem, and the United States said, we are moving our embassy to Jerusalem. And what that is, is it's like a wink, wink, nod, nod to Israel, saying like, yeah, obviously this is one unified Jewish city that's controlled by the state of Israel, and we support that. We're supporting that. Oh, uh, not Kuwait, but Kosovo. Sorry, you're right, not Kuwait. Kosovo. We'll do anything the US says. So um, we recognize the movement of the embassy to uh, Jerusalem, which legitimizes Israel's claim to that part of the land. Obviously, if you're Palestinian, you see this as a further encroachment on your land, and you see it as a further entrenchment of Israeli occupation. And part of that, that recognition of the movement of the embassy um, by Donald Trump is what encouraged uh, the, uh, the border riots in 2018, 2019. Because I think we, we recognized that movement in early 2018 or late 2017. Hold on. Trump moves embassy... Uh, Jerusalem. Okay, he announced it on, on 2017, December, in December. And then the border riot started in, was it April or May of 2018? Um, border riots. February, March, so even earlier. Okay, March, yeah. Whoops. Muslims already forgotten about the Muslim ban. Why do you think they'll remember moving the embassy? Because uh, the embassy removal, I think, was a fairly big deal. Also, if you're Muslim, the Abraham Accords are probably also, like, pretty shit, too. You also probably feel pretty bad about that as well. You say it goes red? I mean, that would be a smart bet for you. I don't say <laughs> yes, it goes red. That's why I I'm proposing it. Have you looked, by, by the way, Trump's, in the he, Trump's ahead in the registered voter polls there, the most recent ones. Like, yeah. doesn't matter. You haven't voters. considered the 3 a.m. voter. <laughs> All 10 million of them. I thought we were moving on. Yep. <laughs> we are moving on. It was a quick aside. It's, it's, it's fun. So, so, I'm so glad that I'm the, I'm the one who, who is going to be seen as the visionary when people look back on this episode. They'll see, <laughs> yeah. they'll see me surrounded <laughs> but undeterred. But I couldn't be, there's this experiment. There's this uh, social experiment where they put eight guys in a room and seven of them are actors and one of them is the actual uh, participant. And in order, they, they ask them, are these lines the yeah. same length? And they're not. Uh, they're, it's different length lines. And all seven in a row. Say, He's talking about the ask or ash, ask line test. A ask, ask, I don't know. Not line text. My God, I it's fucking just. The conformity experiment.
We've watched videos on this okay, before. Okay, I want to give you a test of your visual acuity, your sensitivity to differences in line. Holy shit. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold the fuck on. Oh my fucking God. We've got, this might be the first time I get a, I'm going for a 90% agreement in chat. I think I've got, I think I've got a strong, a strong one here. Hold the fuck on. Oh my fucking God. It's a goddamn doppelganger. Holy shit. Oh, I'm look. I can't even believe this. Oh my God. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. Not Aragorn. Just kidding. Not Aragorn. Not Aragorn. <laughs> Braun! Tell me this guy is not fucking Braun's twin brother. Look at this shit. Tell me this guy is not Braun from Game of Thrones. 100%. He absolutely is. He absolutely fucking lutely is his... He's, he's not even his twin brother. It is him. It is him. Yes? It is absolutely him. There's a big pull. Good luck. Okay, 63%. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. 